Yeah, so spider tanks like rolling and tumbling. Did you like die with your foot on the gas pedal? Yes. Evidently, exactly yeah. What happened. And the tank keeps going. This is awesome. One of the things to, to figure out is, okay, what do you do in a case like that? You know, it is interesting. We, came, we did become a decoy. As technology becomes commoditized and the playing field starts to become level, now it becomes which side is more innovative, which side comes up with more creative uses of the technology. ESP provides a platform to start to explore creative uses of the technology. How do we bring users from very disparate fields together in a virtual environment and let them share ideas? ESP is enabling a conversation to take place between the soldiers and the designer engineers. And this is something that traditionally hasn't happened until very late in the design process. We're trying to bring the soldiers into that loop early and often because you learn from your failures. You don't want to fail after you've poured millions or billions of dollars into a system. Now that you've got gamers coming up, kids who have grown up playing these types of games, I think we're going to be able to tap their creative potential and bring it to bear on Army design problems. And the reason that they're going to be interested in doing it is if they think that they actually have a hand in designing the next generation of tools that they're going to use, we already know that they've said, we'll play those games. This is our vehicle tuning virtual reality experience. I can see all around me really well, but you can also see I'm very susceptible to like small arms fire. Let's put some armor on this. Now, while my field of view is very cut off, I can't really see a whole lot. This is the blue planning phase of ESP, and the vehicles are these different concepts that we've prototyped at the direction of our collaborators. We coined the term early fidelity around this idea of if I have a concept that doesn't exist and I build it in the virtual space, I want to model just enough of it to get meaningful data out the back end. Within sort of the move fast ethos of ESP, it's easier to kit out a few people as the opposing force. Having a human op for means you've got real human intelligence and they'll come up with creative solutions that you might not have thought of. Let's play an ESP exercise and talk about how we're going to communicate, how we're going to plan for something, and then how we're going to watch our plan fall apart and then adapt to that really, really quickly, because that's the job of a soldier. The PEA, or post-exercise analysis tool, allows us to review our gameplay. What we hope to take away from the PEA and the comments on it is building engagement within the soldier community, getting them talking with each other and sharing ideas with each other. We can use this, this technology and the social media type platform where we give soldiers a voice. We're not just saving where the vehicles were, where the weapons were oriented when they fired. We are trying to start saving data about the players. So the webcam on the computer is actually looking at the player's face and estimating their emotional state. Things like that are data that other software doesn't capture right now. We've built these prototypes to learn about the problem space. The goal is to inform what the final ESP system would look like and then be able to have a group go off and build that. I am working on recording all the things that the user is saying while he's playing. Sometimes, you know, users can't really articulate after the fact, but in the heat of the moment, they can articulate really well. This sensor right here, it's an eye tracker. We want to track where on the screen the user is looking, so we can do even some more data analysis after the fact in the PEA. You could spark new conversations of new ways that we can present to soldiers to give them better situational awareness. Where are they? Now technology is there where we actually can do it, and we can do it in a way where it's not painful, it's fun. You've seen us play. We like to play these games, and guess what? You know, soldiers like to play these games, and we keep calling it a game, but the game is a vehicle to get data analytics and to understand this technology and how we use this technology and how we can help others use this technology. You're taking an end user and you're giving them a sense of agency. You're getting them involved in the process and making them part of the solution. And that's one of the coolest things I think we could ever build.